Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new in today's video it is Sunday so it's Picks and Peaks Day if you are not familiar with this style of video I talk about things that didn't go so well for the week being my picks for the week and things that went better this week being my peaks for the week um, I am going to preface this by saying that I'm going to try and keep this very short and sweet because I have very little good to say about this week really so I'm just going to jump straight into it with the pits get those out of the way and then I'll sort of set some intentions for the sort of week ahead. So this week has been an absolute shambles. I'm going to leave my seven day nutri check here so you can see the sort of damage. But every single day bar today has been off track. I usually don't count um, under 100 calories over my calories as being off track. So Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday I was about 80 calories over. Uh, so I don't really class those as being an off-track day, but they still show as an X in NutriCheck, so it, it shows seven days as be, me being over my calories. Uh, then Monday, Wednesday and Friday, I was quite spectacularly over my calories. Monday, I literally just had a bottomless pit day. Like, I ate and I just never felt full. And I was always hungry. I was busy during the day, so it's not that that was the issue. I just literally just didn't feel full at all and I just kept eating. Uh, so that wasn't great. I was like nearly a thousand calories over my normal calories. And then Wednesday, again, that was just a day where I just picked a bit more than usual and I was 500 calories over there. And then Friday, I picked Philip up from his first aid training in the evening. And there's a five guys not far from where I pick him up for his first aid. And we'd already decided earlier on in the week that because five guys was near where uh, he was having his first aid training. After I picked him up on that final day, we would have a Five Guys. If you've ever been to a Five Guys, you'll know that the calories in Five Guys is absolutely ridiculous. So I pretty much ate my dailies, my daily worth of calories just in Five Guys, and that wasn't including any food that I had prior, because obviously I can't starve myself up until dinner time. So yeah, I was 800 calories that day. So yeah, it's showing Monday through to Saturday as being off track and that's not not great basically on top of that I have done no exercise at all compared to last week where I did two runs and two gym sessions and then compared to this week where I've done nothing other than a run today I've managed to sort of pick myself back up and I've had an on track day and a run but yeah not good enough for sort of the week as a whole so they are my sort of two pits for this week if you will um I don't really know what's happened this week. I want to sort of remind people that even though it's January, that doesn't mean that you have to have your shit together all of the time. And you don't have to have everything figured out uh, with the sort of new year. And it might take people longer to sort of get back on track or get on track in January. And it takes however long it takes. And some days, some weeks, you may just not have everything together like you would have hoped. You can have like a really good week one week and then the next week just falls apart and you don't really have a rhyme or reason for why that happens and this week was that week for me. So I don't really have any sort of excuses. I just, yeah, overate and didn't do any exercise. So not a great week but I'm hoping to sort of pick it back up. Obviously, like I said, I've had an on-track day today. Um... I've tracked out all my calories for the rest of the day, so there's no reason why I should be over. And I've done a run today, so I am hopefully going into next week starting afresh. Um, in terms of a peak, I guess my peak is that even though I have been off track, I've still been accountable in the way of tracking calories in NutriCheck. I could have gone all guns blazing and not really give given two Fs about what I was eating and things like that but I am still being conscious and like accountable for the amount of calories that I'm eating and I entered it into new trek regardless of what I was, was eating so I guess that's a good thing in itself is it I guess so it's I've sort of trained myself to enter calories no matter what it is and I've always sort of said on my channel that I don't sugarcoat things and when things are bad I am not I'm not afraid to sort of show that on my channel 
Um, and like I said, you have bad days or weeks every so often and it's just sort of a natural thing throughout your journey throughout life and things like that, that things don't always go as smoothly as you hoped and this is just one of those weeks. So yeah, that is gonna be it for my picks and peaks. <clears throat> I am gonna talk about my sort of intentions for the week going forward. I want to try and have every single day on track next week. The cake shop is still closed until February, so I haven't been going to the cake shop, so I've got no excuse to not be on track all week. So I am going to try and be really mindful about the food that I'm eating. Um, I've been shopping today already, and I've sort of planned out some of the meals that I'm gonna have. So I'm aiming to sort of get higher protein in. So I've bought some high protein yo yogurts. I've bought, I'm doing something very unusual next week. I usually have something like sweet, like porridge or, um, <clears throat> jam on toast or something like that for my breakfast and I sort of realised that that isn't very high in calories and you're supposed to aim to sort of have a source of protein in with every meal and I don't do that for breakfast so this week I have decided to go with a sort of low calorie bread with eggs and I've got these like sausage sausage patty things to try and get my protein up but, but still trying to sort of keep it within my calories so we'll see how that goes this week obviously I will do a what I eat in a day to show what I've sort of swapped to and me trying to attempt to eat a bit more protein this week so that is sort of the plan with that I do want to get back into my exercise again I'm going to be doing a video straight after this where I'm talking about my training plan going forward um, so the aim with that is to have three if not four runs a week and three gym sessions that is my aim for next week i'm gonna to have to knuckle down the race is getting closer it's not getting further away so i do have to really knuckle down and obviously if i want to make progress and things like that exercise and diet is a part of that so yeah they are my two main focuses for next week so hopefully everything goes well like I said, right after this, I'm going to be filming a training uh, update. So that will be out tomorrow. And then I'll do a what I eat in a day, sort of trying to increase my protein and my vegetable intake as well. I forgot to mention that. I do want to try and increase the amount of fruit and veg that I'm having in my diet as well, because I feel like I'm snacking on like uh, the skinny bars and things like that, which isn't bad because obviously they're like 100 calories. But I do want to try and make sure that I get in a bit more fruit and veg in my diet as well. So that's something that I've took into consideration this week with my shopping. So that should increase next week as well. So keep an eye out for what I eat to sort of see the changes in my diet from next week. But yeah, I'm gonna sort of end the video here so that I don't ramble on too long. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can always click the notification bell down below and you'll be notified when my videos go live. Other than that, hope you're all staying safe and well. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your week, weekend, whenever it is that you're watching this, and I will see you again in my next video. Bye.